Hey guys, how you doing today? I wanted to ask ask y'all some questions. I've been out here 24 odd years, and over the years I've realized that that when my kids were young, I would get depressed because I felt like I missed them. And then when they got older, and I finally got rid of the burden of my children, I say that jokingly, but I still was depressed, I feel like, because they was gone. And, you know, after they don't need you anymore, you don't see them as much. But now I'm an old guy, and I'm still getting depressed this same time of year. At least, it, I don't know if it's depression. I don't feel like killing myself or anything like that. I just feel blue. And I know a lot of people get that way that aren't truck drivers. But I was just wondering if other people feel the same way. And if if being alone so much of the time doesn't exasperate that whole thing and make you feel more alone, even when you're around people, because you know everyone's like, oh, you're antisocial. So I, I generally don't like being around people. And most people, truckers that I know really don't want to be around people we don't feel like we have the time to put up with their foolishness or or they're just lame chat lame chatter but we do okay in some venues we'll talk to each other on the CB keep each other awake on the phone whatever I know you're saying well you're a team you shouldn't be lonely well that's true but you're still alone most of the time even when you team you know two or three hours a day you got a little company and then you go to bed or whatever and go your merry way I just don't know but there's been times when I've stopped truck driving for a year or two or whatever and done something else and I feel like I same thing every year you know, when, when when you're younger, you got all those financial pressures of raising a family. And as you get older and you get some money accumulated and everything paid for or close enough, what is there besides work? I was talking to a guy and he said, why even work? He was a bum, right? He didn't feel like he, that there was anything beneficial out of work other than you know a better house or a car or whatever and in some ways he was right but I think a lot of us are addicted to work that's what we grow that's what we were that's what we do right you just work make money get somewhere but sometimes it feels like an an endless circle of nothingness I'm not going to get all wishy-washy on you and cry or anything. Not that I won't cry. I'm a big boy, and I still get upset and cry and stuff if, if need be, right? Usually when I want to kill someone, I can't do it. But, you know. But I, it's just it's just strange. And I know from from just from talking to, you know, you know back and forth to some, some of the guys on here and ladies, that everyone seems to kind of want to they want to reach out and touch someone in some way and I don't mean that sexually I'm sure we all want to do that too but I mean just some kind of connection maybe and you know that with what like what Thor was talking about about brotherhood and everything I, I, I think that would maybe that would really help because we are all big strong rugged individuals you know, we're special in a way. I mean, like uh, Gary the Freight Shaker was saying, people treat us like second-class citizens. But if you ever think about that, okay, if, if you're a really productive uh, company driver, you make more than you're actually in like the 80%. You know, you might consider yourself the working poor, but you're not. The, you're, but we 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 put these hours in for a reason. 
we may feel, still feel like the working poor, but you're going, well, damn, I made $70,000 this year. So you at least you've got that behind you. And if you're a, a really productive owner operator, you know, you can do 125, 150 or more. And you can do more really easy if you wanted to haul government freight or something like that. So you're, you know, you're making more than most doctors make it in, in that way. But they run around in a suit and we run around in t-shirts. Some of us run around in bedroom slippers and pajamas. I've seen them. And we shouldn't do that. I don't. I know you don't. Some people do. But maybe they're depressed too. Maybe they need to, someone needs to say, buddy, put some clothes on, you'll feel better. I don't know. But even making that kind of money, it never makes me feel better in any way. But it always gets worse this time of year. We don't get enough vitamin B12 in our systems in this country as it is. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we're all lacking some sunshine vitamin. Maybe. I don't know. But if any of you guys feel a little bit depressed, let me know. I get tired of feeling this way. Milo don't feel this way. She never feels this way. I've never seen her depressed. She don't really see me depressed either. Because I made a decision a long time ago in my life that I'm going to put on a happy face and I'm going to be friendly no matter how I really feel inside. Now, I don't consider that lying to the world about my feelings. I just consider it guarding my feelings most of the time. Because if someone says, how are you doing? And you say, well, I'm doing really crappy. I think I want to kill you. That's not productive to business or to anything else. So you put on a happy face and you go, great, how you doing, you know? And um, maybe that, actually that, that has helped my mood immensely over the years in some dark times. It's just fake it till you make it. And it really does help. But I can see where some people couldn't fake it till they make it, you know? And no, I don't need a doctor. I'm good, thank you. I, I just, uh, maybe I need to go fishing. You know, staying out two or three months at a time. I've done. I've always done that, except for when my kids was little. And it, it actually didn't used to bother me, but now that I'm older, maybe maybe that's it. Maybe I need to go fishing. I don't even want to kill fish anymore. I don't even want to hunt anymore. I like to shoot them with a camera. But you know what I mean. Just get out in the woods and wandering around, or somewhere different. Do we do anything fun as truck drivers? I, I watched the, the the crafty couple or the crafty trucker and, and the other trucking couple, and they're always doing something interesting. We don't do anything. I don't do anything. We was gonna go to the oh, what's that festival they have up in Wisconsin where they run around in like knights and damsels or medieval festival thing. Anyway, we was going to do that and it didn't work out. Freight fell through. Maybe we should do something. Anyway, sorry, I get sidetracked easily. If you feel blue and you got anything that works for you, why don't you share it below so we can use your techniques and see if we can all have a brighter tomorrow. Alright guys, carry on.